In our trending manufacturing coverage, no blast furnaces, but steel still strong. Dan O'Brien looks at how one company is streamlining operations and finding new markets. Here at Heinz Industries Roll Forming Plant in Youngstown, workers are busy punching holes and slots in various configurations onto strips of steel. The finished products are used on truck trailers as roof posts, protection plates, and frames for the rear lights. So I think flexibility is a key component of the growth over the past 15 years. Mike Jambatista says they found a niche, and their biggest challenge is identifying end users for their products. Heinz's method of using dies to stamp and punch different patterns into steel gives their roll forming operations a competitive advantage when it comes to industries where a lot of material is needed. The company is also moving into the energy sector, specifically the solar industry. I think if you look at the past 15 years, we've had a focus on diversifying the industries that we serve, trying to find good outlets for uh, the products that we manufacture uh, that go into those specific industries. Since the height of the Great Recession, Heinz has made marketing and sales a top priority, and as a result, they've seen significant growth. Since that point, uh, we've more than doubled our business uh, in revenues. Last year was a record year in volume where we were able to ship over 100 million pounds of steel to our end users. The company also saw a 30 percent increase in employment, which now stands at about 155. Jan Batista says although a large portion of their work is in the transportation industry, Heinz is diversifying and now has over 330 customers across several industries. We're extremely optimistic. Um, we are seeing uh, an increased number of leads come into the, uh, the company. Jan Batista says Heinz's ability to manufacture a finished product for the customer gives the company an advantage and the overall market looks healthy. We think we've got a, a great story to tell. We think we have a good uh, value proposition that we bring to the table. And it's just a matter of finding those end users who are a good fit for our product. So we're extremely optimistic with the activity we see. You can read more in the April issue of the Business Journal. For the Daily Buzz, I'm Dan O'Brien. Trending Manufacturing is sponsored by the OPEN Regional Collaborative and Youngstown State University's College of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics.